y'all. Welcome back to my channel, Murried Life. Today I have a pretty big thrift haul from Mobile, Alabama to share with you. My cost of goods, y'all, for this trip was just $2.50. Can't wait to share what I got. Before I jumped into the thrift haul, I do want to share this is a collab with two of my reseller friends, Tanya from Double T's Treasures and Victoria from Super Geeked. We all hopped in the car and crossed the state line over into Mobile, Alabama, and we're all sharing a thrift haul today on YouTube. So I'm going to leave their channels linked in the description. Make sure to check them out after you watch my video. Let me go ahead. I'm going to jump into the haul. Um, we went to a Goodwill outlet and two other thrift stores. I'm just going to go and order of where we went that day. So let's jump into the Goodwill bins haul first. First thing I found at the bins were these faux leather Spanx pull-on leggings. This is a really popular style by Spanx. I'll try to give y'all an idea of what I'm gonna list everything for. I think I have these listed at $35, $40. Um, and yeah, they should be a really quick sell. I do like selling bras, especially from the bins because I'm paying probably like less than a dollar for them. Uh, this is just Victoria's Secret. Um, it is, I believe, a 38D. I only have this listed for like 25 bucks, but I really liked the color and I just thought it was a nice bra overall, so I got it. This is my favorite bra brand to sell. Uh, the brand is Cassique. I'll go ahead and show you what the tag looks like. That's what the tag looks like. This is a size 42G. Um, I definitely try to pick up the bigger bras and they seem to move really quickly each time I've picked it up. So I was excited to find this. You know, I really debated getting this. Um, I actually put back like a Chi Chi London dress too that was stained. Um, this is a dress, this is Eliza J. Y'all, I just don't have luck selling Eliza J. I've maybe sold one or two things um, and the rest are just kind of sitting for me. So. I can sell polka dots. This is like kind of like retro halter neck style kind of themed. Um, I'm going to list this, or I think I already have it listed for like $35. But honestly, y'all, if Eliza J doesn't start moving for me, it may be one of those brands that I stop picking up. Let me know if Eliza J sells well for you. Uh, but I did take a chance because this was polka dots. That pattern does well for me. I did get this nail polish that I'm actually wearing today. Um, I think at the bins I only spent 11 or $12 total. And this at Walmart I think is like five, six bucks and I was gonna buy it anyway. So I felt like that was a score. I did find these Lily Flats. Um, the only flaw you see right here, I just need to get some super glue and glue that back. Uh, these are a size 11 though by Lily Pulitzer. So I think this may be Target, like a Target line. Um, so I have not looked these up. I don't know how well these sell, um, but I'm hoping to get at least around 20, 25 for these. I did find a pair of Chacos and these are my size. However, I will be selling them. I definitely need to clean them up. The cleaning shoes is literally like my least favorite thing. Uh, they are a size six and they're just a pair of women's just, you know, comfy, casual, outdoor shoe. My husband thinks that I should keep these, uh, but I think I like money better. All right, this was the last thing I found at the bins, and I found these. I was kind of shocked. This had been in a bin that a lot of people had gone through, so someone must have thrown these back right before I got there, but I saw this, so I obviously picked it up. These are Ugg boots, and Ugg has been selling really well for me. I think in the past two or three weeks, I've sold two or three pairs. Um, so yeah, definitely picking them up. They're just a pair of cute little women's brown boots. These are a size eight women's and I'm hoping, I haven't looked up the style yet, but I'm hoping to get around at least 50 for these. All right, after the bins, we hit up an America's Thrift Store, which is one of my favorite thrift stores we have here. Um, if you know the America's Thrift Supply Mystery Boxes, this is the store that like puts those boxes together. Let me show you what I got there. I did keep the tags on everything so I could like kind of show you what each thing cost, even though my average cost of goods was $2.50. I figure, you know, you still are kind of curious. So I did pay $6.50 for this Lululemon jacket. Um, the only flaw is right here on the white part. I think someone got like either they are spray tan or maybe makeup or something on it. So I'm just gonna throw this in the wash um, and hopefully some of that will come off. 
Um, I almost passed this up because like there's no tag or anything, but it felt nice and I really liked the color. So I did look at the zipper pull and I could see the Lululemon logo on there. It is hooded. This says it's a size small, but this is really oversized. Um, but other than the kind of like discoloration right here at the sleeves, it's in really good condition. So hopefully I'll get at least like 35 for this. I found quite a few pairs of mother jeans in the past couple of weeks. I'm not complaining about it. Um, these were $6.99 and they do have the black mother tag here. These are really cute. These are my size and I tried them on and I really did like them. However, you know, I can get over $50 for these mother jeans. So I am going to list them. Um, however, these are really cute. So I kind of get why people like mother. I'm not going to lie. I was really hesitant on these. Um, these were $3.99 and these are by the brand Joie. And these are the Park Skinny Pants in Caviar. And they kind of have like that coated look to them. They do have some zipper detail down here at the ankles. Um, Joie does move for me, but I try to be kind of picky with what I pick up. Uh, these still are on the Joie website for $225. So I think I listed mine at $35, $40. Um, but yeah, first time I think ever picking up Joie jeans. So thought the price was good so excited to see how these do all right this was only 99 cents and it is a vintage brand called on the verge i'll try to show you the tag right here on the verge made in usa it's a size small and it's just like a heavy black full skirt and it has like these shoes on it it has some boots it has some moccasins so I figured with the right keywords, hopefully I can get at least 25 for this. Uh, some of the skirts I did see were selling like 40, 50 bucks. So I thought for 99 cents, we'd try it out. These were also 99 cents and these are vintage. Uh, I think it's pronounced Gitano, Gitano, Gitano. I really don't know, but they're just a pair of like really, these are in excellent condition, high-waisted. I'm going to put mom jeans in the title. They're kind of like tapered. I don't know. I just thought for 99 cents, I probably could get at least $25, $30 for these. I did pick up two pairs of shoes. Um, the first one are these Kate Spades. And you can see that these were just $4. And they're just like a pair of suede um, close toe wedges. I thought they were in pretty good condition. So I do, uh, did decide to get these. These are a size 9. Lots of wear on the bottoms, but... I think once I clean them up, at least on the inside right here on the footbed, I think hopefully I can get at least 35 for these, hopefully. And the last thing I got at the America's Thrift Store were these slippers. Um, I do like to sell slippers, and these are Ugg slippers. These were just $3.99. They do have some wear, but they're slippers, you know what I'm saying? So um, a little bit of wear is not too bad little bit more wear on this shoe uh, but these are a size 12 in men so I feel like they're gonna sell pretty quickly probably for at least 30 bucks all right then we headed over to I really cannot remember gateway I really don't remember the name of the thrift store I'm gonna be honest it was kind of a bust I think I was the only one who purchased anything um, I only got three things and one was for me. So let me show you what I got there. Oh, okay. It was called Waterfront Thrift Store. So don't know if I would recommend that. Uh, they did have a sale where if you found anything with a purple tag, it would just be a dollar. So I did find this cute little mini skirt. Here's the front right here. It does have the pleats and the plaid and it's no boundaries. Uh, no boundaries pleated skirts definitely do sell for a decent amount so I felt like for a dollar this would be worth it I think this one they had priced around six dollars it's Armani collects oh you guys already know I'm about to butcher it Collectioni size 12 it's just like a floral basic women's jacket I'm probably not going to get a ton for it but hopefully I can get maybe 40 to 50 um it does have some silk in the lining so in really good condition so I decided to go ahead and grab this never sold this brand before though and here's the last thing I got I just got these for me uh, these are just wild diva I don't know about y'all I was telling uh, Tanya and Victoria this 
I resell like some high-end brands, but when it comes to like clothing for me, I like cheap stuff. Like this shirt right here, I got this at the thrift store for like two dollars. I'm pretty sure it's like Amazon, like it's like no name brand. These Wild Diva, I like this brand. I like Fashion Nova Shein, pre-owned, secondhand, of course. I don't ever buy, you know, directly from the website. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I just have been trying to uh, get more square toe style shoes. That definitely seems to be one trend. Um, I also, uh, here's, an, here's a bonus. Let me show you what I just picked up. I just picked these up like a day or two ago for $5. Um, at My America's Thrift Store, but they're Mark Fisher. Super cute. I don't know if I'm actually going to sell these. Um, but anyway, whenever you go to the mall and stuff, I feel like this is the style I see. So anyway, I did get these. I'm probably going to resell these. Um, but the black ones, these I did keep for myself. Um, they were originally $30. So... $30 right there. It was a buck, so I felt like that was a great deal. And I've already wore these twice since our trip, so obviously I like them. Before I end the video, I do want to show y'all what YouTube sent me. I thought this was so cute. I'm going to have to set it up in my office, but here's the box it came in. I need to do a YouTube short. It says, light up your new year with your YouTube shorts. And look at this. How fun is that light? So I'm going to set this up in my office and I'll have to take a video, but thank you, YouTube. All right, y'all, make sure to go in my description box and watch my friends thrift hauls. Their channels will be linked there and I will see y'all very soon for a fun new video. Bye, y'all.